Well, tell us, how did you get started in real estate? Yeah, great question. It's always a good opener. It's like you said, I was a firefighter and a paramedic for many years. I'm actually an immigrant to the United States of America. Don't tell anybody. It's a secret. I came from uh, London, England back in 1986, became a naturalized citizen, absolutely loved what I was doing. But the challenge was um, I wasn't very financially literate back then, Jay, and I, I suffered the consequences of financial illiteracy. And I got uh, I got hurt pretty bad uh, during the crash of 2008, nine. Um, I was a firefighter paramedic. I was working construction. I was working retail security. I was working about 120 hours a week and I couldn't make ends meet. And um, I very quickly realized that what I was doing wasn't working. I was following the, the herd, as I call it, you know, 401ks, et cetera, et cetera. Um, debt was bad, uh, you know, save money. I mean, all of the, the misnomers that I, I was given from, uh, from years of education. But anyway, um, I found myself in 2008 losing my primary residence uh, pre-foreclosure scenario. Um, cost me a marriage, Jay. It was a serious, uh, serious side to all of this stuff relationship-wise. It wasn't, it wasn't easy to be a father um, to my son or a, or a husband to my wife when I was working that many hours. I was out of the house. Um, and I was, it's funny, man. I look back at it today and I, I have a wry smile at my lowest, lowest point. I always kind of look north for some, some help and guidance and I'm screaming and shouting at my God. And I'm like, you know, what did I do wrong? I didn't lie. I didn't cheat, didn't steal. I worked hard. I was a man among men, worker among workers. And yet everything had turned to crap. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm shouting at my guy and I'm like, you know, help, help. Those that seek shall find, right? And uh, in that moment of clarity or insanity, depending, <laughs> depending on how you want to look at it, a commercial came on the radio and it was Teach Me Foreclosure. I was in my pickup truck. Teach Me Foreclosure, free one and a half hour seminar coming to your neck of the woods. Do you want to be a real estate investor? Do you want to learn how to do transactional uh, deals with no money down, no credit? And I'm like, well, I got no credit. My credit score is like two. I've got no money. I'm losing my house. But I believed that it worked, Jay. That was what was important. Like I had faith that real estate was a vehicle to wealth uh, because I'd seen it working on the construction sites. The investors showed up. They didn't have any dirt on their boots. They were driving nicer cars. They had shiny white teeth. They were smiling. I wasn't. So that was how it started, man. I went to a seminar. I'm a product of real estate education and training. And um, I took to it like a duck to water. I had no, no way to go but up really was, was the answer to it. And um, I put one foot in front of the other, went with my now wife, Mary Beth, to, to the three-day class, invested $27,000 on her credit cards because she was my first private lender. Go figure, right? My wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. I looked at her and I said, what do you think? It was $27,000 for like five classes. And I said, what do you think, baby? She goes, I don't know. What do you think? I said, I can't keep doing what I've been doing. You know, it, 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 the, the, the cost just keeps going up, the emotional cost, the the physical cost. She said, uh, go get them, killer. She said, I'm proud of you. I love you. I support you in anything you want to do. And I looked at her. I said, I'm so glad you said that. We're going to use your credit cards. Mine, mine are maxed out. And, uh, that was, that was uh, that's the truth, man. That's how it all began. So yeah, kind of a long story, short, short story, long, however you want to put it, but that was it. Mm -hmm.